We done? Uh, we're done, level 70, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! That was, uh... I did nothing this fight. <laughs> hey, you, what is up, guys? It's your boy Toy Hair. Today, a video, one week in tier 4, and I just want to give my uh, rundown of what I've been focusing on, what I've been doing, and where my current aims are at. This will also include the Ignite server because it has a special place in my heart. I really did enjoy it, but let's just get into it. Starting off, as you can see, we got ourselves the level 70 Reaper. <sighs> got it to 60 and 60 and there's this big question in my head from this point on knowing that within one week we will get a gear whether i want to have multiple characters that can do a gear or just one that they can do a gear hard mode i will not have enough gold to get both of these but i do feel that if i get to 1680 the chance of me hitting a lottery ticket with a million bucks worth of um accessories that really de does seem like a good idea now put it down into the comments what would you guys like to see me do within the next couple of weeks but i gotta say looking at my roster the first week was hell ladies and gentlemen leveling up nine characters uh doing all of these story quests uh finding out that two of my all still didn't even do solve uh curzon was pfft, it was so with that being said i had to make a decision like i have seven characters like invested into elixirs transcendence for a little bit and found out that if i would have to focus on all of them i will have to will my tits out which is not going to happen so decided to uh, for now drop the death blade it might pop up once again once i feel like um it has become easier to do both elixirs transcendents and all of that but i found something that broke my heart even more and i'm just gonna show you guys why one of my previous mains taijutsu scrapper received a t skill that is off the hook look hear this oh 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 oh, oh! now this made me think that i want to play this character a little bit more As a person who cannot really decide on which character's the main, I'm having a hard time, ladies and gentlemen. It is rough. It is so rough. Damn. But the one thing that I think is very interesting was a money-making machine, and that is a Master Chewy, whatever the hell these are. And funny enough, they have been selling for quite a lot. Uh, a friend of mine told me, oh, make these because they actually sell for more profit, which in and on itself is true. However, the price has been dropping quite dramatically, so unfortunately, I don't think uh, it is worth to try on this one. So that was one of the things that I have been focusing on. But the reason why I wanted to hit 70 as fast as possible, and the way I did it, I bought these cube tickets. So yeah, it then put me into a state that I was already in, which I did not like. And that is cube farming. I have done probably over 150 in the past week. I still have just about 150 lying about. Uh, randomly on all of my characters, just about 25 to 30 each character. That will take up a lot of time. I don't know whether I have the time to pop them all this week. Because I kind of want to focus on completing something on my main. And that is TMI Hard Mode Gate 4. Now, that will be streamed as well, so I'm very much looking forward to it. Already cleared the first part of the game. Now, the second and the third uh, is uh, going to be a little bit nastier. However, if I get to 1680, everything will become a lot easier anyway. But another reason why I wanted to get to level 70 is that the training camp is now... What? I need to research something? Come here. Where the hell are you? Expand training camp slot. Yay. Give me this. Now... Time reduction, do I have enough? I have none! Okay, this sucks. But this basically tells me to wait 14 hours and that will add me this little slot that can enhance another character for that. Which I really do enjoy. Um, sadly, I heard that you can only get it, like if I will complete this, yay, level up. Uh, special training for this character and that only means that the general training can be done for the other one. But if you look at it cleanly, it has the ability to level up the other characters a little bit faster, which in turn will increase their damage, increase the arc passive potential. So that is a very good way of thinking about it. 
Another thing that I want to show is that my account is pretty lucky. I've seen this so far on pretty much um, everything. So we got one, three, four, and five. So that means the one that is left is this one. And then I can get the full chart already done, ladies and gentlemen. Which in turn means something that you will have to aim for, and that is the uh, claw chart. Now, supposedly, this one doesn't give a rat's ass. I don't even know what this holds, but I hope this unlocks the second one, which will allow me to get another enlightenment potion. And for that, the only thing that I truly need to do is either get myself the flame pudding somehow, some way. I don't even know how. Oh, yeah, that is by uh, getting this merchant down. And the other thing that I could potentially do is just spend some cash and just say, oh, I need I need 50 of these, and then I'm like 2.3k down, probably increase this. And luckily, the price has been dropping, and I will not be getting into ARC Passive anytime soon, at least not for the next coming two weeks, hoping that the prices will drop even further. Because, yeah, I could be buying them right now, but if I'm not going to use them anyway, it seems like a bad investment. That is the same thing for me being happy about one thing that I ended up not doing, and that is buying all of these engravings, because right now the price has literally dropped to about 20% of what it usually was, which means that if I want to complete my uh, at least legendary books, then oh my god, I made a very, very, very good decision. Now, if I look at the um, the relic books that I want to have, there are a few that are pretty cheap to begin with. Let's say the Master Brawler, because a lot of people don't want to play Soda at the end of the day, uh, because BK is just that much better. Um, yeah, wait, how much is uh, Supercharge? Supercharge! Okay, now, it's a little bit less, but not a whole lot, so I gotta say... Uh, both of them are quite fine, honestly. But the other thought was I got so many alts. Knowing that I want to play just about every single thing. <sighs> it seems so good to just increase this as soon as possible. Knowing that the moment people will drop into our passive, this price will become an absolute landmine for people that legs will be gone after that Ugh. wallets drained and all of that now one of the things that I have been making sure of is make sure that my alts still don't have the weapon increased just yet and that has a reason because after you're running this many cube tickets on most of my alts I am sitting on so many solars that is absolutely ridiculous now increasing the advanced honing uh, to 20 at the very least is one a very big power spike and two if you drop this into tier 4 it will cost you a lot of shards and in turn will not allow you to use the previous shards so in my opinion this was one of the best decisions that I made just before the patch hit and it does mean that my character is just a little bit weaker because if I say character profile and I look at one of these other characters let's see this is a plus 12 which is equal to what we have right now uh, no advanced honing whatsoever, but it already increases to quite a lot anyway. Uh, that in and on itself is absolutely nasty, which means that my characters can get a lot more damage by just increasing this altogether. But with a little bit of patience, upgrading and advanced honing this one, I will then change all my characters to the arc passive part or the T4 part. And that will allow them a little bit further into the... 1560 realm i'm not sure how much gold is going to take me but i think that within just about three weeks i will have at least three maybe four characters that can be doing a gear okay then we're coming up with the ignite server and ignite server has been fun ladies and gentlemen and i can assure you if you are a newer player spending your time on this thing is going to be absolutely humongous because you have funnel strats here which will allow you with one of the best characters that you have in your roster and this could also be sure for um, returning players but also be sure for uh, veteran players that still haven't decided on their sixth character on their roster the reason for that being is the absolution of freebies that you get in a new roster is so humongous the amount of quality tabs that you can get to get alone a uh, 100 quality tab weapon. If I look cleanly at some of these things, people are running a 94. 
we are running a uh, 99 and I'm just randomly clicking people ladies and gentlemen like there could be some people oh 93 that's a 90 plus as well I've seen okay that one is trash knowing that this is a po okay some people just don't know how this works but knowing that there is a huge potential of increasing your characters having the ability to funnel the bound gold to a single character because you can only transfer one will also allow you to get the elixirs and maybe even the transcendence done just before you transfer the character over now with this massive amount of potential i had to think about whether i want to put and spend a lot of time doing this however I think one of the biggest issues with this is I don't have as much time to spend since I uh, have another roster that requires a lot of uptime. So having a character that will then not be played as anything but a rat alt seems to be like a very bad time investment. However, if you look at least at the rewards coming from 1620, this is nasty, ladies and gentlemen, for one thing and one thing alone. And that would be, uh, where is that? The Relic Combat Engraving. Now, this is going straight into my adrenaline, which means I need at least four before popping a little bit of that stuff. But knowing that this is absolutely ridiculous, getting 200k gold is nuts. So, if you think about this all, the amount of freebies that are coming from this, I think nobody should skip on this. However, if you are a veteran like me that has their roster already set up, I would not suggest spending as much time as you could potentially would for making a near maxed out character. I have a friend who already has a 100 quality weapon and a 97 stone. I was like, how the hell did you end up doing that? Teach me that. And he's just a lucky ass. Like, it's crazy. So with that being said, put it down into the comments. Please let me know what do you guys think about the new tier 4 patch and what are you most excited about. That being said, have a very nice day and see you guys next time. Peace!